Good morning. I am still having trouble with my camera, so I'm using my phone to record. We'll see, hopefully the resolution will be better this time. I have only two journals left out of that batch I just made that are gonna go in the Etsy store today. So if you see this video up, if the video's up, the journals are in the Etsy shop. All right, so let's get to it. The first one, and I had some fun using some stencils. Uh, this stencil I made, this is a stencil that I got from your crafting source, that's Michelle. She's got a YouTube channel and a website by that name, so check her out. Um, attached in the little velvet bag is one of my junk journal shop pens. So they all come with one of those. And then this journal is a kind of a file folder it's got two sections and then the back page sticks out about an inch farther than the other cover pages, I guess I should say. And it is seven and a half by almost nine to this cover. And it's got a two inch spine. And what it is, it's an eco dyed, see the eco dyeing? It's an eco-dyed folder that I have taken and decoupaged some Prima tissue onto inside and out. Other than that middle section, I didn't want to cover up that eco-dyeing. I've got this gorgeous fabric that I got from Julie at the old design shop that I put on the spine. I did put a little metal filigree here and I added one of my UV resin charms at the top. And I didn't count the pages before the video, but it'll be in the description box. I did, I'll tuck it in one of the pockets, add some vintage tape. So here you can see, if, if you look close, you can see the eco dyeing behind here. There's prongs here so that you can add tea dyed paper or ledger paper, anything you want to write on. I'm just gonna do a quick flip. There are a few fun things in here. This is a paper clip. Pam at Pandora's Junk Journals makes these. She curls the edges and puts little beads and charms on them. And this is just a grungy, um, all different size papers because this is such an odd shape. You know, I was able to use up uh, some larger ledger pages pages that I had. This is 11 by 17 tea dyed paper cut down. I did do some stamping, added some ephemera. I love this ledger page. It's from 1882 and it's got this little flip. See, they were tipping stuff in before we ever knew what it was. This is a um, folio out of an old book about book binding. There's a little slow stitch patch from Pam an old glassine bag with a vintage ticket. There's another page from the book binding book. One of Timmy's new people. I just think they're so cute peeking out of pocket. This is that fun ledger that I got that had a tab on every page. And I did some stamping. There's just all kinds of fun bits tucked in there for you to collage with. And these little pages you know, you can journal on them or whatever, but you can also use like the vintage tape or even a stapler if you wanted to add to them and make them longer. I just like the little, the little bits. Listen to that crinkle. Some more ledger that fit perfectly and to be continued. And then here's the center and it has the prongs on that side and that side, but I just wanted to leave the eco dyeing. Now we're on to the second part. And again, there's a little, little bit of everything in here. I tried to leave, I tried to leave a lot blank, which is hard for me to do, so that you can make it your own instead of filling it up. This old telegram, which I've been hoarding, it had I had to put a lot of vintage tape on it. It's very fragile. I'm trying to find a date. 
1926. I knew it was there somewhere. Some more stamping. There's lots of vintage tape in here. <clears throat> There's one of the French advertisements. And a journaling tag. Ledger. And this is a pocket. This was made by Pam also. It was in a, a giant ephemera bundle that I purchased from her. Oh, I know there's something else in there. Oh, wait. There we go. So, I think some of you know I've been playing around with the UV resin. Um, and I tried to make a tag. It did get a little warped. But I figured, oh, somebody might have fun playing with it. There's real flowers and leaves in there. And a journaling card and I think that's some sort of oversized library card so that's all tucked in there maybe and then there's some lace sticking out the top all right come on go back in all right and some grid paper a bit more stamping the other side of that ledger pocket there's another page from that book binding book look at this isn't that stunning i think pam sent me that and then here's the back in the back and then if you look you can see the eco dye i hope how that butterfly fit right almost center on that page so there's that one oh, i still need to tuck that in there all right, and it, it'll fit nicely in its muslin bag. And then the second one that I have, I used um, a burgundy ink to do this bag, kind of the same. And there's your pen, and the pen has a stylus on it. This one also comes with a half file folder of some ephemera to play with in the journal. There's some Timmy stuff, library cards, and I don't see any, I don't see any vintage tape in there. Let's, let's look inside. Yeah, let me grab some just in case. Alright, let me tuck this right back in here with its card, and we'll get to the journal. So this again is an eco-dyed file folder that I had used the Prima Tissue on. There's a ball pin just clipped on the top here, so if you don't like that there, but I just, I love the pearls hanging over her face. And I used the burgundy to try and pull out the red in her lips. So there's the front and the back. Let me open this one. You open it and the front and the back both have a little flip. So if I take the whole thing, so you can see what the whole thing looks like open without the glare, looks like that. Did I measure this? No, I didn't. I'm new here. It is nine by six. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So off we go to the inside. It's one of these fun, if I can get my my light, paint chip ephemera that Janine from J9 Scraps made me. And there's the background of the front. And there's just all kinds of fun bits for you to play with in the journal. This is French, so I'd love to read it to you, but I can't. <laughs> Some vintage tape. This is a digi from my shop, from that lovely ledger that had all the fun drawings in it. There's little bits clipped here and there. This is a envelope pocket with a journaling card. Ledger. This was an official Navy photograph envelope. I just tucked a tag in there. Oh, there's some ledger paper in there also. Class of 48. 
And then, I think it's simple. I didn't want to mash this up in a signature, so I just glued this part down. 1897 to 1901, President of the United States. And then folded it in there, like, like so. camera went away. I couldn't see it. There's a little clip here. This is an eco-dyed envelope. And then on this side, I did some collaging with fabric and lace and buttons and tape and tickets and all those good things. This was a leftover piece of one of the folders. I tried to use up every bit. It's the other side. I love this. It was actually in a ledger that I had. Isn't that amazing? There were some amazing and disturbing um, drawings in that ledger, but they're digis in my Etsy shop. There's just a little bookmark tucked in that side. There's a little doily tucked in. There's a ledger index card. A page of the codfish ledger tucked in there. So there is that one and you just fold it and fold it and then tie the bow back up, which I will do after. And there's that one. So those are going in my Etsy shop and I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through. Thanks for watching the video. And I always forget to say, please be sure to like or leave a comment because we have found out that if you don't leave comments on videos, that's why YouTube unsubscribes you to channels. So I would appreciate that. All right, you guys, everybody have a great day. I'm gonna go throw these in the Etsy shop and get this video up. And I will see you soon, I hope.